Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. The government's appointed executive in charge of managing the restructuring of Croatian food group Agrokor has announced that Alex Partners has been chosen as an advisor in the process. Ante Ramjak made the decision after meeting last week with representatives of six international restructuring specialists. Alex Partners will focus first on short-term liquidity, cash flow management and planning. All of Agricor's creditors have been invited to submit their claims by June 10th. The real debt figure for the concern is expected to be known by the end of June. This company is among the five largest in the world. They deal with this kind of issue every day. With regard to the assessment of the situation in Agricor, they are quite optimistic that this problem can be successfully resolved. Swiss President Doris Leuthardt is in Croatia for an official visit. She met today with President Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic. One of the issues that concerns Croatian citizens is the freedom of movement when it comes to the Swiss Confederation. In January, Switzerland extended the free movement of workers principle for EU members to Croatia, envisaging a gradual transition. Although Switzerland is not a member of the EU, it is very integrated and a member of the Schengen area, so we're continuing on the implementation of Protocol 3, which will give Croatian citizens the same rights enjoyed by the citizens of other EU member states when it comes to freedom of movement. Last year, as the president mentioned, we ratified Protocol 3 so that Croatia, as the newest member of the EU, can have freedom of movement and access to the labor market in Switzerland. We're looking forward to this. The delay has nothing to do with Croatia. It is a procedural matter in the Swiss parliament. Split Dalmatia County Prefect Zlatko Zhevrnya will not be running for another term. HDZ leader Andrei Plenković has confirmed. Zhevrnya has been in the hot seat in the wake of a controversial decision to grant a lease to a private company to manage one of Croatia's most famous beaches, Zlatni Rat, on the island of Brač. The Ministry of Maritime Affairs cancelled the lease granted by the county due to procedural irregularities. That decision has been welcomed by locals. A handful of activists protested against corruption in the judiciary in front of the government and parliament buildings in Zagreb today. The protesters called on the prime minister and justice minister to tackle corruption in the justice system. My labor dispute has dragged on for seven and a half years. I'm at the end of my rope and my health is failing. The case spent six years at the local court in Gospic and a year and a half at the Supreme Court. I want to resolve my case before I die, that's all. Spanish police have arrested eight men in an operation against suspected Islamist militants believed to be linked to last year's attack on Brussels airport that killed 35 people. Police raided 12 properties in and around Barcelona, but did not reveal the identities of those arrested. The operations were carried out in conjunction with Belgian police. Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen, the two candidates who are through to the second round of the French presidential election, paid their respects today to the police officer killed in the terrorist attack in Paris last Thursday. The candidate's initial response to the attack had been very different. Macron, the pro-European centrist, urged the French electorate not to give in to fear. The leader of the far-right National Front, Le Pen, expressed concern over the threat of new attacks and underscored that security was the core of her platform. The Ministry of Finance and the Tax Administration have unveiled some new features on the Tax Administration's website that will allow taxpayers to access records and documents as well as file papers with the tax office online. The new Tax Administration website is expected to be up and running in June. We keep stressing that taxpayers no longer have to go to their tax office to get documents or spend money on stamps and paper. They can do everything from home. Hollywood star Will Smith and longtime collaborator DJ Jazzy Jeff will be reuniting this summer. They have just announced two European dates. The hip-hop duo will make their return by headlining MTV's Summer Blast in Poric, Croatia on August 26th. They will perform their second gig in Blackpool the following day.
In sports, Anna Konyuk lost to Annette Kontraviet of Estonia in straight sets today at the WTA tournament in Stuttgart. Mirjana lucic baroni is set to play Kristina Mladenovic of France on Wednesday. After a controversial 15-month suspension, Russia's Maria Sharapova is making a comeback in Stuttgart. She'll be playing Italy's Roberta Vinci tomorrow. Meanwhile, at the Budapest Open, Croatia's Borna Cioric lost to Jirji Vesely of the Czech Republic in straight sets. In football, Croatian international Andrei Kramaric is out for the rest of the Bundesliga season after suffering a shoulder injury. The Hoffenheim striker took a nasty fall in Friday's match against Köln, tearing a ligament and damaging the cartilage in his shoulder. He'll be out for a month. Surgery has not been ruled out. This also creates a problem for Croatia coach Ante Cacic, who is now without two key players. Vedran Choroka is also out with a foot injury. Croatia is set to play a World Cup qualifier against Iceland on June 11th. Kramaric may also be out for a friendly against Mexico in Los Angeles on May 27th. Tomorrow's forecast calls for partly sunny skies throughout the country. The east will see the most sunshine, while the west, especially Gorski Kotar and the northern Adriatic, can count on more clouds and a chance of scattered rain. There will be a moderate to high southeasterly wind on the coast. Morning lows will range from 7 to 12 degrees in the interior and from 11 to 16 on the Adriatic. Tomorrow's highs on the coast and in the mountains will be between 15 and 20 degrees and between 20 and 25 degrees in the rest of the country. Mostly cloudy, variable weather with occasional rain is expected on Thursday and Friday. There may still be some rain on Saturday morning, mostly in Savonia and Lika. Southwesterly winds will die down by the weekend and shift to a northerly. Temperatures will be significantly cooler. The weather will also be unstable on the coast over the next few days. There will be rain, especially on Friday, when heavier downpours are expected. Southeasterly and southwesterly winds will dominate until the end of the week. On Saturday, they will shift to a northeasterly and northwesterly. And that brings us to the end of our program. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.